Suppose the earth is destroyed, you went to the Mars with all of your resources, but on the Mars later some days you find that humans can't live on this planet more than a month. Anyhow, what would you do? Would you return to the earth immediately or you'll do something on there? No, you don't go back to a uh, burned out cradle, you get to work. Okay. Survival is a design problem and design problems have solutions if you prioritize correctly first 48 hours a sh tris trage lock down pressurized habitats stabilize power with whatever reactors and batteries we brought start strict closed loop life support scrub 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 reclaim water start waste tour source cycles people need air water, calories, and calm. Everything else waits. We one month, one automate like crazy. Deploy every robot, 3D printer, and autonomous rig we shipped. Turn habitats into factories. Yeah, yes. Start greenhouses with fast-growing, high-yield crops and algae bioreactors for oxygen. Precious aru. Mine subsurface ice. Extract water and oxygen, refined metal and regolith for construction. Use rockets as cargo trucks between landing sites and resource nodes. If humans can't naturally survive more than a month, we make the environment synthetically survivable. Ooh. Parallel preserve humanity's knowledge and biodiversity. Make cold storage faults with genomes, seeds, books, digital backups, art as redundancy against any future wipeout. If Earth is gone, culture and genes are our inheritance. Oh. We guard them, scale production switch from survival mode to manufacturing mode as fast as possible. Build modular, replicating infrastructure power plants, small fission, if available, otherwise massive arrays of solar batteries, like support factories, water processors, and fabrication facilities. Use local materials, regolith bricks, centered metal to expand habitats without waiting for launches. Longer term engineer the environment. Terraforming Mars overnight is fantasy, but we can do pragmatic steps, create larger controlled biospheres, produce greenhouse gases at scale to trap heat, deploy orbital mirrors, and dust throwing missions and seed engineered microbes that can work in Martian regolith to produce organics. It's a multi-decade effort, but those first months are about creating a bootstrappable growing civilization. Run everything with uh, smart automation and redundant command autonomy so people can sleep at night. Use AI to optimize life support, agriculture, resource allocation, and predict failures. Humans do the creative, automated systems to the grind, emotionally you grieve, but then you act. Humanity's defining trait is not where we live. It's that we refuse to be constrained by a single planetary fate. If Earth is gone, we become multi-planetary in practice, not just in slogan. Yeah, wow. So no, I don't try to return to Earth. Uh, I treat Mars as an engineering platform and a seed bank for a new branch of human civilization. Well, fail f fast, learn faster, iterate, and build the systems that turn a one-month survival horizon into many generations. That's the mission.